But we are at beautiful Spring Ridge Farm this morning, a beautiful sunny day, and it is all about fall, the harvest, pumpkins, pumpkin pie, and everything that goes along with it. Farmer John is joining us, and we're talking about pumpkins. First, let's talk about Spring Ridge. Oh, thanks, Emily. Welcome, and good morning to Spring Ridge. It's such <laughs> a beautiful spot here to see the fall colors changing. I don't know why it's anyone a... wouldn't want to spend all day here. <laughs> we get lots of people stay for quite a few hours because there's lots to do, and uh, as well as enjoying all the pumpkins, the yeah. uh, view is amazing, and then you can finish it off with some great baking. So, uh, lots really to do, do that as far. Today. Oh, good. Good. I'm Look forward to it. The baking. <laughs> I'm always excited for the baking. How long has Spring Ridge been around for? Um, my, my family first came here in 1960, so we've been here quite a few years. Oh. And uh, now our daughters, uh, Amy and son Tom, they're the third generation on the farm, and the grandkids help on the weekends too, so they're the fourth. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see them and put them to work, I'm yeah. sure. Okay, <laughs> tell us about the pumpkins. Why should I come here to buy my pumpkin? Well, we've got a wonderful variety, I think, and the, the crop this year has been really good again. Mm -hmm. We were we were fortunate to get that um, warm, dry weather about three weeks ago. Oh, did that help? That helped, helped cure them up because we had all the rain this summer, which was a little hard on the pumpkins because yeah, they, they they do tend, they were a little bit on the soft side, but now mm -hmm. they firmed up nicely. So lots of shapes and sizes and colors. I like uh, these little baby ones. The little pie pumpkins are, are really cool. They're um, nice and solid. This is a variety called Cannonball or Field Trip. We've got two types in there. They're so cute. Yeah, and they've got a very thick meat. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're hard great, to carve. <laughs> hard to carve. So better for painting. They're all washed oh, and um, they're smart. great for kids to paint. And then afterwards, don't throw them out because they've got very thick meat. Great for pumpkin pie yeah. or soup or a squash. So uh, those, okay. are, those are kind of cool. Okay, what else do we have? Well, I think um, we call these our decorator pumpkins. These, these ones are over the here. These are pumpkins. Yes, yeah, these are the high these end are the ones. These are the ones that I think I'm going to get. So the they look nice pumpkins. in a mix of uh, in a yeah. mix when you're setting them up on the porch. They're super cool. Yeah, these look are this a big one. big Pokemon, and uh, there's lots of different names for them. Wow! Oh my gosh, um, they're almost like a red. And they've got the flesh inside is kind of an orangey color. Um, some of them are better to eat than others. I was going to say, Probably, uh, that was my next question. Can you eat them? Oh my gosh. That blue one is a good blue. one for eating. Oh, I think our, our favorite for eating is the uh, green one, which is the Jamaican pumpkin. That's the one they grow in the Caribbean. That's awesome. Um, and you know it's ready when it starts to turn a little brown. See the brown coming? Oh, yeah. So that means it's mature and it's got a beautiful yellow flesh. I love and them. And what we do with them, Emily, is just. Um, cut them in a wedge and bake them like a squash, but do that oh. after Halloween. Yes, of so course. So you get to enjoy them and then yeah. eat them afterwards. So okay. they're, they're kind of fun to have. And then we've got your regular jack-o'-lanterns. Our regular jack-o'-lanterns. Um, Picking got, the perfect pumpkin. We've got lots of um, different sizes and uh, shapes. And you'll you'll enjoy the peduncles on these. Some of them, those are called those are the what handles. Is a peduncle? <laughs> this is the peduncle. This thing right here. That's got a big peduncle. Now that's got a big peduncle. <laughs> and, uh, He's giggling. He's giggling. <laughs> So, and we've, we've got lots that we're still picking, All so right. we just keep bringing them out and bring them out for people. Well, this and, uh, is awesome. We look forward to spending the next little while here with you, Farmer John, at Spring Ridge. Lots <laughs> more coming up on Morning Live. A peduncle. Never... You can't come to Spring Ridge and not experience a ride on the wagon, and that is exactly what we are doing with Farmer Amy. Farmer Amy, it's a family tradition here at Spring Ridge. I love the fact that it's you guys, your second generation. Yes, or, yes, we are. Your yep. second generation. Actually, third generation. And then your kids are now fourth generation. They will be, yes, yeah. Wow. They're helping as well, yeah. Okay, so yeah. we've got wagon rides, we've got saw the pumpkins. Yeah. Um, what else is there to do for family fun activities here? Well, I think another big draw is are the farm animals in, yeah. the, in our fun farmyard. Um, and then there's Tons of cool things like animatronic chickens, there's a singing tractor, oh, yes. there's straw bales to play on, um, and then on the weekends we have our corn trail open, which I think we have time to visit as well today, so that'll be fun. Oh, that will be fun. Yes. Now, while we're on the wagon ride, what are we looking at here? There's some interesting yeah. spots that you guys point out on the tour. Yes, yeah. So we've just gone past our giant corn trail, mm -hmm. um, and I think just the views of from the Niagara Escarpment on top of the hill here are phenomenal. So you can see Lake Ontario 
right around to Toronto. Yeah, Mount that's Nemo. amazing. So it's just a beautiful property to explore. And for us, for growing on, we have the southern exposure. So it um, makes for delicious strawberries. Mm -hmm. You'll see some of our young strawberries growing um, ahead of next year's season. So they'll be covered up with straw. Oh, pumpkin soon. patch. Pumpkin patches are behind us and, and sunflowers for the Blue Jays to enjoy. Oh, yeah. And then lots of crop covers are happening so that we're always rotating our fields to put nutrients back into the fields. Right. So every three years we're changing things up to help replenish the soil. So. And as a kid coming on the wagon ride, you can yes. kind of learn that stuff, yes, right? Yes, for learn sure. all about yep. the different agriculture and yep. the importance it is to give back to the earth. Exactly. Yeah, the importance of water and see the big irrigation ponds and yeah, um, and yeah just, just really enjoy a farm in Ontario, for sure. And it's so close. Like, yeah. you're like a farm right next to a city. Yeah, we are know? very fortunate to be so close by, but yet on such a beautiful, protected piece of property. So. It really is yeah. stunning. And Springers, isn't it you guys have your name because of a beautiful spring that's yes. in kind of the escarpment? We do, actually. So the natural springs along the Niagara Escarpment, um, and we're on the ridge, so that's how my parents came up with the name Spring Ridge. That's super yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, we are going to be talking to and looking at some of the farm animals and the corn trail and, of course, the bakery. That's all coming up, but for now, you can just put things back inside the studio. Well, we are back here at Spring Ridge, and we've got Farmer John talking to us about these little beauties. Oh my gosh, John, they're so sweet. What kind of I goats do you have in here? These are the African pygmy goats, so they stay small. Hi, baby. And, um, Hi. Oh. We've been blessed this year. We've had um, three sets of twins and one single, so I love they're them. always hungry and love love all the. Uh, kids feeding them, oh so my gosh. we're just I having a, an extra treat today. This is so great. <laughs> and so kids can come in, they can buy a little bit of feed, Yes. Yeah. and then feed them no problem. And we've got goats and chickens them. and rabbits. Um, I think most people enjoy feeding the, the goats a little the, the best. Well, totally, because they're so interactive. I mean, yeah, they love yeah. me a lot more now that I do. Yeah. You are super <laughs> greedy, dude. You are so, you, look at you Aren't all they wonderful back colors? here. They're beautiful colors. Now, what makes their markings the way that they are? Just the the, yeah, the breed has lots of different colors, and um, uh, when we when they're bred, we will breed the white one to uh, a white ram typically. Oh, I so, see. so you have more white ones. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. You're very hungry, aren't you? Oh yes. It's like what? It's like Farmer John never feeds you guys. No. What's going on? <laughs> Greedy little devils. And I can come down here at eight or nine o'clock at night, just when there's no one here, and yeah. they're still munching away in the hay. They're of eating course. all the time. I so. saw one of them like in the hay. Look at oh, he looks and like some, he needs more food. And sometimes the shape would suggest they're pregnant, but that's just the shape of them. <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, are they? Pregnant. Maybe we're overfeeding them. <laughs> like this one right here that I'm feeding at the moment. She, she's um, she's had one one baby this spring, and she looks like she's another one, but they're they're not. It's but not they're there. not. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. So quickly run down what other animals you have here. Well, we have lots of nice rabbits. Hi. <gasps> bunnies. Everybody loves bunnies. But lots of bunnies. Oh yeah, there they are in there. They're over in they're over in here. Oh, they're so sweet. They look and so And lots of soft. different colors, Emily. Look at all the nice colors. Oh, <gasps> they've got floppy ears. Yeah, yeah, there's Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> floppy anyway. bunnies. Now they're different breeds in there yes, too, right? Yes, they are. Yes, there are for sure. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. And during the winter, do they just kind of hang out in we, here? We, uh, they go to our friend's farm. Do you bring them is, in? Yeah, we bring them in for the winter. Yeah, and the goats, a do similar, they stay similar in for the winter? Thing, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is such a great place to hit in the fall. You can do the wagon ride, you can check out the beautiful bakery, and of course, you can come and feed the greedy little goats. <laughs> well, Luke doesn't have any food, sweetheart. You can palm. <laughs> there, oh, wait, here he does now. Here, here he does. There you go. All right, there's so much more coming up on Morning Live. Make sure you stay with us. Ow! <laughs> You got me there, you little devil. <laughs> it has been such a pleasure to come to Spring Ridge today and see all of the fall favors that you have here. Uh, we've been talking about the corn. We've been talking about the animals. We just fed goats. I washed my hands, I promise. <laughs> uh, Mom of the operation over here, you're in charge of making sure that everything runs smoothly, but tell me a little bit about what you do in the bakery. 
Well, um, these are some traditions going on here that we've done for many, many years. I learned how to bake from my mother-in-law. She yeah. was a wonderful farm woman that used the apples and the pumpkins, and um, she taught me how to make the pastry and how to do the fills, and um, we're using the same recipes. I was just about to ask, today. so these are all original these are, family these recipes. These are all Grammy Hughes recipes, which um, I wish you could see. Oh, she, she would, she's she would, watching. Yes, totally. I'm, I'm sure she is. And very happy. Not happy about the wasps, but no. happy about everything else. Hey, they've got good taste. <laughs> right? And the, the cookies are like the cookies I used to make for our children mm -hmm. and now for our five grandchildren. Oh, and, my and, goodness. Uh, to all the young kids that come to the farm, they uh, yeah, enjoy them. You're really popular with school groups, as I'm seeing today, yes. but I hear it all the time in my children's school and everything because they're, you know, they're the Halton region. So, mm -hmm. I mean, how many school groups do you think you get every year through this, here? This year, um, just a couple in the mornings of yep. what we've been having, and then we can look after them well. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, they just do. They come to the farm and do their own thing mm -hmm. and um, seem to be enjoying it. They bring so their lunch and they feed the they, goats and they check out the chickens yeah, and they go through well. the... The, the corn, yeah, they what's can it called, the corn it. trail? Yes, a corn trail, oh, that's right. So nice. And then they get to go on the wagon. Yes, yes. Okay, um, pumpkin pie, or no, sorry, uh, apple pie. Apple pie, These yes. are pumpkin tarts, by the way, um, yes, if you're interested. Yes, pumpkin tarts, um, pumpkin muffins, this, and our, our cider, which is absolutely delicious, made from fresh apples, um, both uh, Honeycrisp apples, mm. as well as a mixture of apples. And you can get all of this stuff here. You can pre-order for parties. Yep. You can do whatever and, you and, need. And we always have it available right through to October with, with these items. So you can just come to the farm anytime and we'll have them. Yeah, and just pick up and go. And mm -hmm. your hours, they're a little bit different during the week and on the weekends. I know that, mm -hmm. right? Uh, nine to five. Nine to five, straight seven, through. Seven days a week, right till Christmas Eve. Look at that. They never stop. And then <laughs> Christmas, bang, done. Yep. <laughs> then, then we start making our jams in the winter and start making our pastry yeah. and getting ready for the next year. Amazing. Well, thank yes. you so much for thank having you. us. Our pleasure. We've had a pleasure. wonderful time. Thank I'm you. super excited to do some fall yeah. shopping after we eat the pie. Wonderful. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Lots more coming up on Morning Live. Mmm. It's a good pie. It's such good pie.